Good afternoon, this is Father Tim, and it is 12.30 on this Tuesday, the 21st day of December, this feast day of St. Thomas the Apostle. And we take a special moment to pray midday prayers today also. We pray the order for of service for noonday from the Book of Common Prayer. We are a YouTube premiere, and we are shared onto Facebook. Please do take a moment to post a greeting, share a comment. Let us know that you are here with us this afternoon. You may post those greetings, share those comments on the YouTube comments or the Facebook comments. And know how grateful we are for your presence among us as we take a moment again to pray. Let's begin our prayers. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for this noonday hour, Psalm 119. Beginning at verse 105. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Job. Then Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak, I will question you, and you declare to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, 
of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations. And in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. We pray the collect for this feast day of St. Thomas. Ever-living God, you strengthened your apostle Thomas with firm and certain faith in your son's resurrection. Grant us so perfectly and without doubt to believe in Jesus Christ our Lord and our God, that our faith may never be found wanting in your sight. Through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray also the prayer for the first Sunday of Advent, which traditionally is prayed every day in Advent. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light now in the time of this mortal life 
in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life of mortal, through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And tonight, friends, is longest night. The night with the longest amount of darkness in the whole year. Tonight is a night for us to remember those who do not have a safe place, a warm place, call home to be a place of rest. Tonight will be a night to remember homeless persons and specifically, especially to remember homeless persons who have died. Forgotten by the world, but not forgotten by us. For Christ keeps uh, them in our hearts, in our, in our minds, and calls us to care for the living and for the dead. And so at this noonday hour, in the hours of light in this day, even now, we pray for the repose of those forgotten by the world, those who are homeless, who have been homeless, who have slipped through the cracks in this world, who have fallen asleep, and whom we commend the mercy of God. Deliver your servants, O Sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil, and set them free from every bond, that they may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitations, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servants especially those homeless persons who have died in our community, in our nation, and throughout the world. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive them into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, friends, for joining us for Noonday Prayer. Evening Prayer will also be offered tonight, and that will be a YouTube premiere as well. Keep in mind that at 4.30 at St. Stephen's in downtown Wilkesbury tonight, we will keep the Wilkesbury Homeless Persons Memorial remembering those who have fallen asleep, those who have died, those who certainly very much fit the description of the great parable of Matthew 25, the sheep and the goats, 
when Christ said, What you did for the least of these you did for me. What you did not do for the least of these you did not do for me. May God have mercy upon us when we have been the goats, which for so many we have been. After all, we are a country of great wealth, and there are too many people who have lived and have died, never having had a share in that. Blessings on your day, dear friends. And throughout the night, and once we are through this night, we will ever so slowly see the increasing light as the days begin to lengthen ever so slowly. Know of my love and my prayers and my thanks for you all. And for our sharing together, not only in prayers, but in the faith and in our hope in Christ, who is the light of the world. May the peace of Christ be with you always.